Hi there, in this video we'll be taking a look at a flip and joy soldering iron. Really nice uh, pouch to it, soft feel, flip and joy logo right here. And let's see what we have inside. So exactly as expected, this DX20 tiny soldering iron. Look at it. It's really, really, really tiny. And in here we have the tips for it. As you can see, these tips are <laughs> minuscule. I don't have anything. Um, on this level, absolutely anything. Could I get it out? Yes, it's locking in there. So it's... <laughs> I'm not sure if it's locked or unlocked. Let me just make sure that uh, we are not pushing this in while something is locked and it will not allow it to go in. And now we can lock it. No, no need to, to tighten it too much. This is that small that you are not going to be putting uh, that much uh, pressure with it. I'm going to show you the normal tip of my soldering iron just to make an idea of how small this one actually is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and even if we go really, really close, look, this is as... It's a needle, basically. It's really a needle. As opposed to this, yeah, this is not really that clean. It's night and day difference uh, between these two thingies. So this will be extremely good at really delicate jobs. And this is the really pointy one, the needle type. We have this, which is still a needle, but a curved one, depending on... Uh, on what you actually need to do, this might help to reach a little bit better. And we also have this chisel tip. But all of them are extremely small. So yeah, this is a really nice addition to the channel. And we also have um, the charger for it. I'm uh, expecting this to be able to do some kind of uh, power delivery or it's just USB 5 volts. I don't see a voltage mentioned. Mm -hmm. and if you need to check the manual, here it is for more than one model with this uh, QR code. And the QR code is uh, sticky adhesive so you can uh, put it anywhere and just scan it when uh, you are not sure of something. Uh, could be standard USB or could be some sort of uh, power delivery. We'll put, uh, I think, a tester. Or maybe even from the specs we can see that. Yeah, this is smarter. It's not just standard USB. As you can see, it can provide 12 volt 3 amps. And it's obviously from 100 volt to 240, so it's uh, absolutely universal. Decent weight to it. So I, I'm expecting to, to have a decent quality. The cable itself, really nice, braided. Type C, obviously, at the end. Did I put it? No, I put it the right way in. It's USB, you always get it wrong the first time, but I was actually lucky. And plug it in. And let me see what I can unplug from my sockets right here and plug this. And power this thingy on. What does it tell us here? Maximum 9 volt, so it will negotiate with the charger itself the voltage that it wants. Flip and joy logo when powering on. A little beep. It's telling us the temperature. Let me check. Uh, yep, we are kind of there. And it's also telling us the voltage it's running on. Uh, 
this is actually nice to see. Uh, I'm expecting this to be actually an OLED display from the the image. Might be wrong, might be a standard LCD, but I'm thinking it's an OLED. Let me see. Will I get it right? So okay, from that one you lower the temperature, you can see it right there in the corner and from this one you get it higher, but I don't think it's on. Maybe we can need, we need to long press on it and now it's instantly on. And look at the temperature. <laughs> so it overshoot it, just probably it's giving it the full power really quickly so it hits up instantly. You could see it there and then it comes back, it lowers it and you can obviously decrease it or increase it. What happens when we long press? Are we going to stop it? I think we did stop it. If I long press again, so it says working, long press, stop. Uh, let's get to working again and long press on this other one. We have a menu on a soldering iron. It's OLED, so I got it right. Let's see voltage. Oh, how do I do it? Long press. Low voltage off, power voltage. Okay, I think, I think uh, that's a bit uh, too much probably. Let's give it a moment to get out. Calibration, no, about. Let's see what's in about. Long press for, to enter. Yeah, we have a firmware. So it works on power delivery 3.0 and quick charge 2.0. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm a bit too excited about a, a, a soldering iron, but when I start, oh, is this long press to exit? Or maybe just wait for it, it will go back by itself in a few seconds. I, I'm, I'm really excited when I see uh, devices like this that are basically really freaking smart. Let's see what we have in iron. Working temperature, I think you can set the, the initial temperature. Ah, and you can also set the steps for the temperature. Oh, this is nice. I think I will set it to uh, 10 degrees, so we don't have uh, that big steps. Long press. Oh, nope, that was not smart. I think the way to do this is to let it uh, get out by itself. It will get out of the... Okay, now it's set. Temperature compensation, degrees Celsius. Temperature shield, buzzer, yep, we have the buzzer, start heat, factory settings, no. And working temperature is the standard temperature when it powers on to what it goes to. It has idle, so it goes to sleep by itself and it has 50 degrees sleeping temperature. Let's get back in here. Idle time and then screen open yes the screen stays on it will wake up by itself actually when you move it it says mm, okay let's go to work OLED brightness yes you have brightness on the OLED uh, yeah sorry about that on the OLED of a little soldering iron key action language and I think you can uh, change the orientation. Yep. <laughs> the, this little guy is, is too much fun, honestly. So basically I'm, I'm going to, to start and I think it will also get out of this menu by itself. Yes, exactly. I'm going to start using it, uh, for projects where I really need a, a tiny and fine tip where this just does not cut it and I did have a few where I literally struggled because using this big guy 
I was actually uh, soldering uh, the pins of the um, of the uh, micro um, <sighs> microcontroller. I couldn't find the, the the damn term for it. I was soldering the pins together instead of soldering them independently on the PCB properly. So it was a pain. Something like this. It's <clears throat> magnitudes uh, easier to do. Awesome little guy. And we also have this uh, right here, which is basically the support for it. And this you uh, put water on it and you can clean the tip in there. And the support, flipsy daisy, something like that. Although this soldering iron, it's that small that it can barely reach that. So it's actually mostly staying on the plastic on, on this. It cannot reach really this support. It's that tiny, like a needle, honestly, it, you can poke uh, your finger with it if you want. But uh, I am going to take this out, I do not want it in my uh, or wait a second, I was thinking in my tool drawer, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to put this directly in my drawer, I'm going to put it like this. Will it allow me to? Yes, it will allow me to have a tip on it. They thought about that and the cutout uh, allows a tip to be always installed but i think i'm actually going to install this uh, bent one could help me a lot when working i honestly did not know about this type of tips until now I will put the exact model uh, of them, the connection itself, on screen now. They are awesome. Really, really tiny. But really be careful with them because you can damage them easily even when uh, putting them in here to, to store. You can bend them and then you are, go you are going to have a problem. So this is why it's best to just keep them uh, like this in their protections apart from this one which is already protected by the foam i can leave that one on maybe some would say that even that one is better to take out but i no i don't think it, anything will happen to it because the foam will protect it obviously just want to show you something so this is the tip and this is one millimeter thick solder uh-huh and uh, let's see how long it takes for it to be able to melt this. So now it's basically mostly room temperature, working order, already melting. What was that? Two seconds? Three seconds? That's freaking awesome. I really, really, really like how quick this uh, thing is. And just as an idea, yeah, I'm putting this directly <laughs> on the table because it has absolutely no chance of touching anything. It's that light, the end of it, it, <laughs> it will stay directly on the plastic casing for sure. Um, so with the old one, something like this chip, if I would see one of the legs of it, it's not making contact. If I try to touch it up, one, my hand is quite far away from it, as you can see. So even if I try to, to do it, I have a long arm in here and my hand will move just a tiny bit. I have mm, relatively steady hands, but not extremely steady hands. Let me bring more light in here. Uh, let me show you how big the tip of it is compared to that little leg. So. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm at the absolute limit where I I can actually touch only one without touching the right uh, the ones right next to it, so it's extremely difficult. But now let me show you with this little thingy. So the limit for this little thingy are my eyes. I basically don't see well enough to properly touch only one of these things 
uh, but it can do it without hesitation. So now this brings me to the need of uh, buying a kind of microscope or something because this can do stuff like that that I wasn't able to do before. So a microscope wouldn't help me with anything, but now it would actually help. If you want to see more info about this soldering iron right here, feel free to pause at any time. So the DX20 and DX60 are quite similar. Uh, the tips, I think, uh, are different and uh, it seems also maximum voltage. So um, actually could be a bit more different than the tips. As you can see, DX20, 20 watts, DX60, 60 watts maximum power. And the tips are C1115. These really, really tiny ones. Uh, you could see the, the compatible protocols once again. Intelligent uh, temperature control. How you can change the tip, it does not really get easier than this. And the size of it, yeah, it's about the size of a pen. <laughs> they are really, really freaking small. And the package contents, so an IS tip, an I tip and a K tip. And they have more models, obviously, even bigger ones, if you want something a bit bigger. I'm now going to test the charging protocols of uh, this charger. And let's see, auto detection for everything. And get back to you when it finishes and shows us a list. Quite a good assortment. So it has FCP, AFC and Quick Charge 3.0. With its voltages, we can go through them and uh, it will give us more info about every uh, one of them. And Quick Charge, this one is way more uh, versatile and yes it's a dedicated charging port doesn't have any sort of uh, data coming out of it obviously it's a charger last thing that i want to test it's the power uh, at the moment it's doing quick charge 2 at 9 volts that's uh, the connection the protocol being used and this is 0 0.15 watts uh, in standby basically let's bring it on and see what we get to I think you could see something 15, 20 watts or something like that for a moment, but obviously it's, uh, let me see, can I, as you can see, we are rising, but it's not, hmm, maybe I should shut it off, stop, and then when it gets lower, I will power it once again, can I change, yeah, I can change, as you can see, we are changing the temperature without being on. So when I start it, it will go directly to that. Maybe then we will be able to see uh, the maximum power because it will last a bit longer. It will not reach its uh, temperature instantly like it uh, did before because we put 500 instead of 300 degrees. Okay, let's get this going. Yeah, I saw 20 something. Yep, okay, that's really nice. And shut it off because I don't want such a high temperature. It will just uh, make the tip go dark. So that's about it. This little guy will be put to work. It will be seen in my future videos. I, uh, <laughs> I really like the fact that I will be able to solder tiny stuff. But I will need at least a magnifying uh, glass or something uh, because uh, now my eyes are the limit, not the tool itself. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks again Flip and Joy for, for sending this in. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.